when I talk about the brakes on this motorcycle, as I say before, I really don't think Honda could have done a better job. Good morning, YouTube. This is Cruise Man. And welcome back to Cruise Man's Garage YouTube channel. The channel for everything Honda Goldwing. DIY tips, tricks, motor vlogs, and accessory installation and review videos. If you're passionate about the Honda Goldwing or motorcycling in general, you're in the right place. So why not just go ahead and click on that little subscribe button down below. You know you want to do it. And if you click on that bell icon, YouTube will notify you when we come out with new videos. Now it's Saturday morning. And once again, I am pleased to report that it is an absolutely beautiful day. Right now it's about 77 degrees. Just perfect weather for riding. Next week, they have said we may e might even get down into the 50s in the morning, which I absolutely love. The 50s and 60s to me are the best, the best temperatures for riding. Now you might notice my route's a little different today. Even though I did just leave Einstein's Bagels, which is my morning coffee place, uh, I am actually at a different Einstein's Bagel this morning than normally, so you'll notice the route that I'm taking back to the house is a little bit different. Today I was at the Einstein's in Capel, which I often will go to on the weekends instead of the one in Carrollton, which is the one I normally go to during the week. And the reason for that is just because of traffic, it's easier to get to the one in uh, Carrollton. So anyway, I'm on my way back home. I thought I would check in with everybody. and You know, I was surprised how many people found my last uh, motor vlog so interesting because I talked about why I made the decision to purchase a Goldwing instead of a Harley or a BMW. And <clears throat> I thought I was, I was trying to be pretty careful not to you know, besmirch uh, any brand motorcycle because I think they're all good motorcycles. I actually owned a, a 2005 Harley Sportster and I really love the bike and I, I have ridden uh, ultra glides, I've ridden road glides. I've done some installation videos on Harleys and I had to go to Dream Machines of Texas and pick up some various Harley models and ride them maybe 15-20 miles back to the house uh, to do some work on them. So I have some riding experience on these bigger Harley bikes. And uh, while they're very good motorcycles, I just seem to prefer the the ride and the handling and the feel of a Goldwing. I just I think if I could come up with one word to define what it is that distinguishes the Goldwing, in my opinion, this is just my opinion, from a lot of other brands, and that is refinement. It just feels like a more refined motorcycle in so many ways. Not without its problems, I don't mean to imply that. Certainly uh, it, there are improvements that can be made. But you know they've been making this bike for, gosh I don't know, 40 some years. And I think Honda has maybe learned a lot of things over that time. And it, you, it just, it, you can tell it when you sit on this motorcycle and you ride this motorcycle, it just feels refined. It's an excellent piece of a machinery. Very well engineered, very well designed. Okay, enough of that. So one thing I want to talk about today, while I have your attention, and it's not something I've really talked about a lot, and that is the brakes on the motorcycle. Of course, the new Goldwing, the 2018, 2019, 2020, 
all come standard now with ABS brakes. And I think that's long overdue. I think analog brakes are one of the biggest safety features you can have on a motorcycle. In fact, I had a 2005 Goldwing and I sold it and bought a 2007 just so I could get analog brakes because my girlfriend and I were doing a lot of touring or we wanted to do a lot of touring and we were going to be pulling a trailer and I just felt like it was much safer even though pulling a trailer I know is not a safe act but without anti-lock brakes I think it's even less safe so I purchased a 2007 that had anti-lock brakes and uh, I've always felt safer having that feature and I think the new Goldwing with the analog brakes uh, I think it's long overdue that Honda did that so I think it's a good a good addition now but in in addition to just having analog brakes these brakes on the 2018 plus Goldwing are absolutely as good as I've seen on any motorcycle they really dialed in the braking on this bike, in my opinion, about as good as you possibly can. I can see no real room for improvement with these brakes. Now, the Goldwing has this linked braking system so that when you apply the rear brake, you also get a little bit of front brake. So when you mash the pedal, on your rear brake down by your foot it's actually engaging two of the pistons on the front brake disc and the reason for that and I didn't even really realize the reason for this until I watched one of uh, Max's videos over traction that for many many years uh, or in the early days of the Goldwing, a lot of Goldwing owners were not using the, the front brake. They were using just the rear brake. And of course, 80% of your stopping power is on your front tire, on your front brakes. So Honda came up with this linked braking system so that when you apply the rear brake, you also are applying some front brake as well. Now that makes it a little bit trickier when you're doing your brake bleeding, but not as bad on this Goldwing as on the previous Goldwing. The previous Goldwing was really, really tricky, previous generation. The 2018 Goldwing, it actually, I think, is a little bit easier to, to understand, and I think the linked braking system on the 2018 Plus Goldwing is much, much more logical and rational and it works extremely well it's very reliable and you no longer have that anti-dive valve on the front fork like you had with the previous generation which caused all kinds of issues when I talk about the brakes on this motorcycle as I say before I really don't think Honda could have done a better job now when I apply the brakes personally I always start out applying the rear brake and then I bring in the front brake. That's just my style of riding. Uh, I usually don't use the front brake without the rear brake. But apparently a lot of people do. Apparently people just use the rear brake. And uh, that's why Honda came up with this linked braking system. Now I have not put the ABS to the test on this motorcycle like I did on my previous but I plan to do it and for those of you that aren't familiar with ABS which stands for anti-lock braking the idea is that no matter how hard you engage the brakes it will keep the tires from skidding on the pavement and this is especially important when you're riding on wet pavement so if you're riding on uh, in the rain and you slam on the brakes on a motorcycle without ABS it's very likely you're going to go into a skid and your tires are going to begin slipping on that surface. Well, what the anti-lock braking system does is it measures the force of the tires against the pavement 
and if it senses that those tires are fixing to lose traction it basically interrupts the braking so when you try to engage the analog brakes by slamming on the brakes you'll you'll feel some chattering or you'll feel some vibration in the front end or on the bike because that's that anti-lock braking system interrupting the braking and it does it in a split second it does it within thousands of a second it's not like it stops the braking for two or three seconds but you'll notice it feels like the bike is vibrating or and you'll you'll feel a chattering in the motorcycle and that and the same in the car you know if you have analog brakes in your car which most cars now do it it performs the same way so in my opinion the anti-lock braking system on the Goldwing is probably one of the best safety features you have and uh, I'm just very I don't think they could have done a better job with the brakes now what are your comments I want to know your thoughts do you think the brakes on the 2018 plus Goldwing or any generation Goldwing I felt like the brakes on my 2012 Goldwing were adequate very good I've never had a Goldwing that I thought brakes were a problem. I've always felt like they did a very good job of bringing a large motorcycle to a pretty, you know, relatively quick stop if necessary. But I'd love to hear your comments. Do you have anti-lock brakes on your motorcycle, assuming you have a previous, uh, pre-2018 Goldwing? You know, you used to have to pay like an extra thousand or two thousand dollars just to get anti-lock brakes. Now it's just standard equipment, which I, you know, I felt like it should have been for the last 10 years. I'm in the middle, or toward the end, I guess I should say, of editing my newest videos for the 2018 Plus Goldwing Maintenance videos. Once again, if you already own the videos, you will be getting these new videos added to the library free of charge. You don't have to pay anything to get that. We'll send out notifications to let you know. For those of you that have purchased my videos through Vimeo.com, I know that I'd say one out of ten, I'd say about one out of ten people struggles with figuring out how to find the videos, how to how to play them, how to, and it it can be a little bit unintuitive. So I've put a page up on my website, and I'll put the link in the description down below and on the screen. There's a web page you can go to on my website now that describes the steps necessary to find the videos you purchased. Because I every now and then I'll get an email from somebody that says, hey, I just bought your videos and I can't find them anywhere. How do I play the videos? How do I download the videos? How do I get to them? And I'd say about one out of 10, maybe one out of 15 people that buys the videos has this struggling issue finding the videos. So I went ahead and created a web page to show you all the steps you go through. And there's even a short video there from Vimeo that explains how to do this. Now, you know, in reality, Vimeo could probably do a better job with their interface to make it a little easier to find these videos. But once you do it and you see how it works, you know, then you just bookmark the page and you go right to it every time. It's pretty simple then. You can also download the Vimeo app for your phone or iPad and you can find the, you can watch the videos that way. So, a quick reminder, if you've purchased my videos, please go to my website and register your purchase. I want to emphasize again, until you register the purchase with my website, I have no idea who you are or that you've even bought the videos. Because Vimeo does not share that information with me. I'm back home now, so I'm going to stop here and finish the video. So once you make the purchase on Vimeo.com, they send me an email to tell me that somebody has purchased the videos, but they don't tell me who it is, they don't give me your email address, they give me no information because of their privacy policy. So that's why I always ask you, please go to my website and register. That way I know your name, your address, your email address, and if there's any updates or information, new videos, or just any information at all. Uh, I had a guy the other day that said, I bought your videos on September the 11th. Where's my dipstick extender? And if you'll remember in those videos where I talked about our fall promotion, this was on the 2000, you know, 2018 Goldwing videos, I told him I only had 20 of these dipsticks and it's to the first 20 people that registered on my website because until you register I don't know who you are well he didn't email me until a couple of days ago and of course the dipstick extenders are all gone they went within four days they you know we sold out of those no time 
and I felt really bad but you know it's just very important that you register on my website once you purchase the videos and then we keep you updated anytime the videos change or if we make a change to the video or add new videos we'll let you know so anyway that's it for today until the next time on cruise man's motor vlog we'll talk to you soon